attempting to check in on my physical and psychological status. You do that kind of thing often? He and Saint and Ikora are concerned for my safety. As if no longer carrying the light as I did has transformed me instantly into a fragile elder. Sounds like they care about your old bird. It's sure rough to be stuck with supportive friends, huh? I imagine from your perspective I must seem terribly ungrateful. You know, when I first got the full set of mods, I was making friends with the ground every five minutes. It takes a second to find your balance sometimes. So it does. I appreciate the reminder. Come on, the cabal who still follow the Empress Kaito. Stand aside before your Emperor. Whether you lay down your or join with my legion, you will have all the freedom of the stars until the last. Those who persist should ask yourself, why do you follow a cautious empress who has turned her back on bravery and grandeur? Even when Cabal must fight, there should be magnificence. There should be glory, not timidity, not this cowardice. Look how your empress has fled from battle, relying on these humans for strength. I may once have been deposed, but I remember how to be Cabal! We should probably see if Nimbus can disable that radio frequency. Jisoo Colorado reporting for Neomuna Civil News. Cloud Strider Nimbus reports that recent cloud arc fluctuations are the result of new security measures to guard against intrusions. The Cloud Strider credits the Earth's guardians for contributing personnel toward the dangerous operation. Despite this, more citizens have experienced nightmares. One name common to all? Ezarek. Neomuna Civil News. Our city from Shadow Legion forces. Rohan is succeeding. I wanted to thank you for bringing an end to what was once my father. I wish we had a moment of respite to celebrate our victory. Greater strife lies ahead. I will prepare the Cabal for the Witness's machinations, and when it reveals itself, I will once more be standing by your side on the battlefield. Today, we honor Relentless Rohan, his service his sacrifice. More than a protector of Neomuna, he was a true cloud strider. He cut his years short so that the whole of humanity may thrive far into the future. Today we 
suffer so tomorrow can live on. Sensors. You seem terrifyingly competent. Anyway, this is where I'd usually show you around, maybe buy you a drink, but I got an incy wincy crisis. Let me just. What? No, no, no! Do not! New data's coming in. Want it? Oh, hey, Guardian. Induction ceremony wrap up all right? The citizens did a good job improvising. Traditionally, both Cloud Striders are there for the uh, final handoff, but Rohan wasn't here, so. And if he were, he wouldn't be moaning about the past. <laughs> He'd be too busy cracking open the veil, jumping through the portal, and knocking the witness back on its multiple asses. You know, the Vex were working on a copycat veil. Oh yeah, Rohan stumbled on it in the Nexus years ago. It was half finished then, but he was convinced that the Vex had the goods on the original. Goods we'd need one day. Just think! We wrestle the Veil's secrets out of the Vex and we're one step closer to kicking down the Witness's door. But first, we gotta track down Rohan's notes. So, what do you say? Help me follow in the big guy's footsteps? Save the city and look good doing it? When the witness made that connection after, it rebooted all our Cloud Arc security. I guess the Vex noticed because they busted in here and blew up five of my memorial servers. The audacity, right? Each server is nano constructed from a Cloud Strider's core drive and filled with all their logs and records. They're irreplaceable. It's not like the Vex to destroy so, so randomly. There's got to be a connection. Probably on those wrecked servers. But any data connecting these five striders was in the servers they blew up. Long story short, your buddy Ghost has some sensors I've never seen before. So I thought maybe he could help me scrape the data? Just go take a look at those damaged memorials. See if you can pick up anything. I hate those things. They made me re-record all my originals. 
Apparently, my take on history can be too sarcastic. Altruism, affinity, awareness. These aren't just the Cloud Strider ideals. They are the soul of the Each of the memorials filling this room is a server dedicated to the life of a fallen hero, made from their own augmented systems. Every communication and journal detailing their noble sacrifice is available not only for future Cloud Striders to study, but you as well. The truest way to honor our city's champions is by using their experience to improve ourselves. Here in the foyer of arrivals rests noble Rohan. This sacred space honors both the beauty and the grief in a hero's passing. Since lockdown, so much of our city lived vicariously through our champion, and so we feel his loss more keenly. Every Cloud Strider embraces mortality, but in the lives they save and deeds recounted, they are timeless. The seed of each plant thrives in soil enriched by fallen leaves. All they are, from inception to fruit, is an echo of who came before. The plants grown here in the Hall of Heroes are all reclaimed species, extinct on Earth and restored on Neomuna. They are memories of a lost homeworld, returned to life thanks to the safety and prosperity our champions provide. Every drop that falls eventually reaches its end, yet the river continues on. That lone drop is simply a shape the river takes for a time. The water within rejoins the flow and continues on. Those loved ones who pass remain a part of us, forever shaping who we are and who we become. The pukas you see throughout the Hall of Heroes are attracted to the powerful emotions of visitors just like you. Over generations, they have acclimated to their human neighbors. Cloud Striders routinely use emotional support pukas in training and therapy. They often select the friendliest chicks from those hatched right here, among their fallen predecessors. The Founders came to Neptune in fear, desperate to survive the collapse. The Traveler had left gardens on many planets and moons. But on Neptune, they found a harsh frontier of floating continents and dangerous storms. Compassion, cooperation, and innovation allowed them to survive, just as they now allow us all to flourish. Maelstrom. She was one of the city's greatest military leaders ended the Cobalt occupation before she even became a Cloud Strider. Everybody loves him now, but back when Blue Jay was just Conrad Jane, the whole city hated his guts, did all kinds of illegal sim research. The Strider. She was the very first official Cloud Strider. Losing her records hurts the most. Stargazer. Well, you probably wouldn't expect a mathematician to be a great Cloud Strider, but I hear your Ikora Ray is kind of a nerd too. Siege Breaker. Telluride Magsy. He converted in the middle of the 20 year siege, and he ended it. But Vex captured his mentor, Puck. Magsy rescued Puck, but by then, the bots had stripped secrets from his brain. Old man couldn't handle the guilt took risks, got hurt. That's... that's awful. And eerily similar to what Osiris went through. I wonder if Rohan learned how to counsel Osiris from... Guardian, you're strand. It's... what's happening? You recreated the memorial! Nimbus said your strand power could make things, but... I didn't think they meant like this. Neither did we. I guess Neomuna's emotional connection to their heroes is strong enough to anchor this strand creation permanently. I've read 
some academic studies on veil transcription of the collective unconscious. I bet if I put you in cryo, I could... Quinn, maybe we should focus on the Vex for now. Why they attacked and if they're coming back. Yeah, I guess you're probably more useful not frozen. Right now. Let's see if we can figure out why the Vex broke in. Built a data crawler app to scour Siegebreaker's database for mentions of the other four Cloud Striders targeted in that Vex attack. He references Stargazer and some kind of secret number crunching algorithm. No context. So I need you to restore Stargazer's records. All you need to do is sort of vibe with Stargazer, the city's most famous explorer. Let's say that. This is Jisoo Calarondo coming to you once again with a special guest as part of our continuing war coverage, the Cabal Empress Keitel. Your Majesty, thank you for joining us today. We thank you, Mr. Colorado. Most of our listeners know little of your people's history beyond your colonization efforts on Mars and the recent Red War with Earth. Tell me, what is your goal here in the Soul System? We came to your system as conquerors, Mr. Calarondo. While that was not under my rule, it is a banner I would have gladly waved. And yet you extended the offer of a truce with Earth. The Cabal say there is no road through war. Your direction must change with circumstance. Ah, you're referring to the recent destruction of your homeworld. Torah Bottle was consumed by the Hive and the Witness. And so now my people fight for survival in addition to glory. With Neomuna Civil News, this is Jisoo Calorondo coming to you today with Cloud Strider Nimbus for updates on the recent conflict. Nimbus, thank you for joining us in light of the heavy burden that has recently fallen on your shoulders. I mean, whole city's hurting right now, Jizu. Rohan was my hero, same as everyone else. But the best thing we can all do is make sure his sacrifice means something. Keep this city safe. And what of the Guardians? Have they helped maintain our peace and safety, or are they adding new complications? We all knew the return of the Pyramid Fleet was going to be complicated, and I'm glad we had the Guardians here every step of the way. If there's one thing Rohan taught me, it's that no one survives alone. We need each other. Impassioned words from one of our city's great champions. Let us hope time proves them wise as well. This is Jisoo Colorado, signing off. Hey, Ligari. How are things holding up over there? Heard the hall guy. Oh, that's fine-ish. No load-bearing damage, and the rest is taken care of. A little unorthodox, but we're good. You sure? I can take a look. I'm sure. Save your resources for the more vital infrastructure. We'll have a bad time, a worse time, if the farms go. You let me know if that changes. Might not be as immediate as the siege, but our history is worth keeping safe. That's why you're my favorite, Sid. Ah, you say that everyone. And I mean it to everyone. Intolerable. What draws the Empress's desire now? The soldiers' callous sense. While some of these may be the mindless clones you saw on the Leviathan, many more are deserters and traitors. Those who have forgotten what it means to be Cabal. That still troubles you? This is not a new state of affairs. No. But it is more than that. It is the further division of a people. It is destruction from within, by our own hands. Once I was hungry for the glory of battle. Even now I have never turned away from a necessary fight. But I see only foolishness here. The time when this fight could have been avoided is long past. I know. This is not reluctance. <laughs> 